Hello everyone, my name is Arnav Nigam and I have scored 316 out of 360 marks in J Advanced 2025 and I have got an All India rank of 11. I am associated with Sri Chaitanya Institute for the past three years. My journey with Sri Chaitanya began in 10th grade when I first had an interactive session with the three faculty members, Sridhar sir, Yash sir and Animesh sir. I was amazed by the quality of content and also the motivation and support offered by them. That is what got me into Sri Chaitanya Institute. After that, I had given the score examination and I was also amazed by the quality of paper. That was a really challenging, tough and, an, uh, and a paper that uh, required intuitive thoughts. And that really made me confident when I got AIR 1 in that paper. Also, uh, it's uh, extremely important to know that it's said that JE Advanced is supposed to be the toughest examination uh, in India. And that's because of the few challenges that are uh, offered in the preparation. And one of the major challenges is dealing with stress. So uh, a tip to deal with stress is to take breaks whenever you feel stressed out. So those breaks should be quality breaks. It should not be like you uh, get into a mobile phone or you watch TV for that time. Uh, it should be some quality time spent with your family or you go out, take a walk and de-stress yourself, play a sport. So those are some uh, quality breaks that you can take to de-stress yourself. Also, it's extremely important to give a great number of mock tests during the entire preparation. Uh, we used to have two to three mock tests every week and that is what gets us prepared for the exam temperament. The most important thing for the examination is the temperament. No matter how much knowledge you have, if you lose your temperament, it's of no use in the examination. So the last week of preparation uh, before the examination should be entirely focused on getting your temperament ready. Also, it is uh, extremely important to uh, keep yourself calm and not be anxious about the examinations. And this is a, a characteristic you'll develop when you give a great number of tests and you get adapted to situations uh, where you are facing new questions and you have to think by yourself and navigate by yourself. It's also extremely important that you listen to your teachers as there are times that you might feel that uh, something is the best way you feel. But the teachers, having mentored a great number of students, they know what's best for you and they give a tailor-made program for you. And uh, you should just focus on uh, getting what the teacher has said done. And after that, you can get your self-study. Also, I think there's a stereotype that says that you have to study 10 to 14 hours every day, get your doubts solved every day before the day ends. It's nothing of such sort. Uh, you just have to study well for whatever time you study. For uh, the days before revision, in the starting phase, we used to have classes for four to five hours. And after that, we used to have two to three hours of self-study. Apart from that, when we used to go home, we just used to revise what was done in class and solve a few numericals and other conceptual questions that were told to us by the teacher. That is more than sufficient during the initial phase of uh, preparation. During the revision phase, you will have to sit by yourself, think what is missing in you and you have to work out on those uh, things. So you have to identify your strengths and weaknesses and develop your strengths and also work on your weaknesses. Another thing I would like to say is that you should develop good bonds with your friends on the campus because they'll always be there throughout your J preparation. And also it's uh, very important to have constructive discussions and nothing that distracts you from your preparation. Another thing I would like to add is that 90% of the preparation depends on you and not the uh, teacher or your friends. So it's very important how you develop the thought process and how you navigate throughout this preparation. Of course, the entire uh, credit does go to your teachers and parents, but the temperament part is what you have to develop by yourself. And that's the most critical part of this preparation. Also, I would like to once again thank everyone here at Shri especially the faculty members and staff members like Mayuri Ma'am and Shweta Ma'am who have always, always been there behind the scenes and have helped me throughout my journey.